I'm Brittany Kramer with the National Junior Angus Association. One of the most prestigious and competitive events at the National Junior Angus Show is the Showmanship Contest. Juniors who compete in this event get just one shot in their lifetime to achieve success. And once the competition begins, the slightest mistake of any kind can drop you in the placings. In this report, we learn more. John Toledo knows something about showing cattle. Back in the 1980s, he exhibited cattle across the country and earned a reputation as a top junior showman. The key to being a good showman is someone that can certainly get the basics down and get them down quickly, uh, being able to get cattle in the ring efficiently. What I look for in particular is someone that really doesn't draw a whole lot of attention to themselves, just really keeps your eye on that animal that they're showing. Uh, you know, at every different angle that you're looking at them from, having the feet and leg placement right, using the show stick correctly, loining them properly, and then just being nice and smooth and, 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 and keeping the cattle right. After qualifying through their state, nearly 50 juniors competed in round one of the competition, but only 15 qualified for the finals. It's the ultimate showmanship contest, I think. Uh, from that standpoint, um, you have one opportunity to participate in it, so it's, it's really a big deal. Um, you know, as a showman, you're, you, you continuously work towards uh, bettering yourself over your junior career and hopefully when you get a little bit more maturity and, and get to that towards the end of your, your junior career, have the opportunity to participate in this contest. So, In the end, Toledo and his co-judges, John Grimes of Hillsboro, Ohio, and Sam Carter of Julesburg, Colorado, chose Jan Lee Rowlett of Hurricane Mills, Tennessee, as their top showman. Here's a look at the rest of the top five. You know, this stage of a person's life is extremely critical. I think probably more so than ever as a young person growing up and, and being surrounded by people that are similar in terms of backgrounds as yourself and, and being raised properly is extremely important in, in this day and age. And an event like this kind of ties all that together, you know, and uh, just uh, I don't think there's anything better a young person could do or be involved in than, than this Junior Angus program. Reporting for the National Junior Angus Association, I'm Crystal Young.